Okay, we need to talk, cause this is getting out of hand. Genshin feels like it's crashing and burning, and this time, it's because of the toxic side of the community. I am all about giving criticisms and talking about flaws within games and things I love in general, but this toxicity has gone too far. So let me give you a recap of what has been happening this past week in the Genjin drama. Before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications. I'm currently sick right now, so if I sound a little bit strange, that's why. But I feel like this video is really important to make, so I wanted to make it regardless. And uh, hopefully I don't cough into the mic. But let's do it. The first thing I want to address is that Kokomi's Chinese voice actor was streaming the game and got bullied by the community. This is disgusting by every means. You know, I've talked about this before on stream too, where it's like, hey, keep in mind, you know, you can be critical if you like a voice act, like if you like the voice of a character or not, or if you feel like it suits them or not, but don't blame a voice actor for the character that you're upset with. Because people were so upset with Kokumi's gameplay style and her in general, they felt like they could blame the voice actor as if the voice actor has a say in how the character is portrayed. So bizarre. And even how the characters can't work. It's just so irrational and so upsetting on so many levels. I know a lot of you are smarter than that and a lot more respectful than that, but for those of you who might be that stupid to go around and blame voice actors and to get on their cases for things that are outside of their control is insane to me because they're given a script, they're given directions on how to deliver lines, they're doing a performance, they're doing, they're literally doing a job as an actor. You can be critical if you like an actor or not, based on their performance, that's a fine take to have. We do that often when we watch movies, like, oh, we don't like this actor, they did a bad job in this role, based on your own personal preference. Like, that's okay. But there's a line. These are people, right? Just because we get attached to video game characters, and we're critical of video game characters, doesn't mean we get to have that same mentality when approaching human beings who are just playing the roles of these characters. That's like watching Hannibal Lecter and being like Mads Mikkelsen, uh, yeah, high key, just eats people in real life, so we hate him. Like, it doesn't make sense. They're not the same person, so why? So why bully them and talk that BS? It doesn't... Anyways, three steps back. Just be nicer. Holy smokes. I feel like it's such a dumb thing to have to say out loud. But clearly has to be said, so that's number one that's happened this past week. Number two, let's talk about Genshin tanking in ratings in the App Store. Over the past week, Genshin has dropped from 4.7 in the App Store down to currently at 2.8. Holy smokes, this game has dropped down in ratings and also is being flooded with terrible, terrible reviews. Now, a lot of you might think, oh my god, the Genshin community is so toxic, they're, they're doing this, they're lashing out, it's getting crazy, right? And do you know what? A part of it can be that. Sure, there could be a part of the community that is lashing out and that upset, but it's actually a bit more than that. And I feel like the community might actually not know about the larger picture we're playing at hand here. So I'm going to let you guys know about what's happening over in China between Mahoyo and a company that tried to buy out Mahoyo twice now called Tencent. Tencent is a company that owns every company you can possibly imagine when it comes to gaming. Tencent owns Riot. Tencent owns Activision Blizzard. Tencent owns basically the companies that own the game companies that own the games that like, most of us play. So when Tencent tried to acquire Mahoyo and it didn't pan out, their next step was actually creating hate raids and hate mobs to flood the game. So here's a little bit of background about what Tencent has done previously to Mahoyo. For those of you who remember, when Genshin first came out, one of the most common things that was said about Genshin is, it's Breath of the Wild's knockoff turned into an MMO. Which, you know what? Definitely can see that perspective. It has so many similarities, especially back in closed beta, to what Breath of the Wild looks like, but it perpetuated as hard as it did and flooded comments because of Tencent. And it continued to do so. This escalated way beyond that for every single time there's ever been an issue within the game 
or been an issue within the community for it to be blown up by Tencent's hate mobs. Another example of this actually takes place with Honkai Impact. In Honkai Impact, also owned by Mahoyo, which also Tencent wanted as well because they tried to acquire Mahoyo as a company, there was a global event where the main characters of the game wore bunny outfits. And everyone loved the event, and the Chinese community just asked the question, oh, can we get that too? Because it was a global event, and China wanted it as well. But what ended up happening was that it escalated out of control. A simple question turned into massive hate messages on Twitter, which was really bizarre because Twitter is actually banned in China. But it turned into Chinese community members attacking the global uh, the global members and the English speaking audience. And of course, the English speaking audience not understanding that these are fake accounts and fake users attacked back and created a massive outlash between and so much tension between the global and Chinese servers. Now, how do I know this instead of it being speculation? Well, actually, uh, a dear friend of mine, Bouncing Bomb, over on Billy Billy, which is the Chinese version of YouTube, because YouTube's not actually available in China, but they have Billy Billy instead. And I'm a content creator on there. So through the amazing uh, captains, which is what we call kind of like travelers in Genshin, but over in Honkai, we call it captains. Um, there's 35 of them who spoke out about what they've experienced in China when it comes to that whole experience of this all happening. If you want to see the document um, that this relates to, I'll put it on screen and slowly scroll through it. You can pause and read it through if you want to, um, which talks about their personal experiences. All completely translated as well, so the English might be a little bit rough here and there, but thank you so much Bouncing Bomb for doing that for me. I just feel like it's really relevant to bring it back up just because of what's happening right now in Genshin. It's translated over into English, so if it's a little bit rough, I apologize. Um, but my dear friend Bouncing Bomb over from Billy Billy did these translations for me just so that I can share it with you guys in the global server. So this is just a bit of proof of what is happening beyond just toxic Genshin community members. Like, yes, there is toxicity in the scene, and I'm not trying to deny that or undermine it. I'm just saying is that it blowing up to this extent is actually way larger than any of us can think of. It's not just about toxicity feeding toxicity, it's about a mega company coming in and blowing it out of proportion. So please keep that in mind when it comes to commenting or berating or trying to jump on like the, the hate bandwagon that's currently happening, that this is affecting people's jobs and livelihoods and to just have a little bit of decorum when it comes to that. I apologize again for sounding so strange. I am still sick, so trying my best here. I just want to wrap this up by saying I love Genshin and the real community members who care about others and are supportive. I hope together we can continue to spread positivity. It might feel overwhelming, especially with how negative things are right now, but I believe in you. I believe that we can make this community better by just being kind and thoughtful when approaching people and even the company that makes the game. I'm not saying don't vocalize your frustrations. Even I'm going to continue to vocalize things that I'm not happy with. But as long as we are doing this in a respectful and considerate manner, then I think we can really be a positive impact. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to watch anything Gacha Gaming uh, from Genshin Impact, Tonkai Impact, Punishing Great Raven, Arcanites, Epic Seven, a girl gun cafe like basically literally any gacha game uh be sure to hit the subscribe button to stick around for more content if you have any questions about the chinese server um since i am a content creator on billy billy which is a, the chinese platform feel free to ask me and i will try my best to get answers for you or find out or let you know if i already know them cool love you guys catch you on the flip side bye bye